If you like my videos, please check out my website at creationsciencefiction.com. You'll find articles on creationism there, as well as my blog. I also have a Creation Science Fiction Facebook page now, too. Good evening, folks. Ken Hoven here and the crew at Dinosaur Adventureland in Lenox, Alabama. Thank you so much for joining us. We're the folks who believe the Bible is true and the evolution theory is the dumbest and most dangerous religion, and it is a religion, in the history of planet Earth. And we wear the Hawaiian shirts because they got them for 50 cents a piece and because we like uh, to agitate the atheists just a little bit. Every time they think of Hawaii or see a Hawaiian shirt, they, it's that Hoven guy, you know. And this one's one of my, this is one of my favorites. It's got all the canaries and buzzards and all that stuff down here, but you can't see it all because I'm sitting. Never mind. Okay, uh, but it's not bright red, so we'll calm down just a little bit for tonight. Okay. This video is not about Kent Hovind's recent video where he makes stupid jokes, begs for money, and then makes a fool out of himself trying to talk about trilobites. Ken Hovind is going to be a guest speaker at the Longview Baptist Church in Fort Worth, Texas on Sunday, May 19th. Either the 2.30 or 4 o'clock session is going to be a question and answer session. Well, I can't make it myself, but I'm wondering if anyone who lives in the area, whether you're a Kent Hovind fan or not, would be able to attend the question and answer session and ask him a couple of questions for me. Please videotape the question and the response and upload them to YouTube or send them to me. Now, Kent Hovind has long taught that people rode dinosaurs. So the first question is this. If the Earth is 6,000 years old and people rode dinosaurs, where are all the fossilized dino saddles? Now, Kent has also taught for years that the Bible is scientifically accurate. We defend the position that the Bible is literally true and scientifically accurate in every detail. So here's the second question. If the Bible is scientifically accurate, why do none of the scientific dating methods used to date the earth give an age of around 6,000 years? Now let's not have this turn into heckling. These are serious questions. <laughs> I didn't understand you, sir. Jerry! No, I was right the first time. I don't understand you. Well, thank you, sir, whatever that was. I can't believe I paid for this guy to be here. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got, a, we got the Three Stooges here, looks like. We definitely don't want to heckle him or give him ammunition to use against atheists or normal Christians. If you think you can make it to this event, you can let me know by writing bill at creationsciencefiction.com. Oh, and Kent says he doesn't beg for money? Yes, you do, Ken. But the Bible, yes, like the Bible says, the lack of money is the root of all problems. That's in Second Opinions, Chapter Five, I believe. But to help us to open for free.